Hi, this is Dave Matthew with an Audio Precision Quick Tip. A quick tip provides a brief overview of an APX500 feature or function. In this quick tip, you'll learn how to create a dual axis graph. A dual axis graph allows you to plot related but different data or different views of the same data on the same graph. XY graphs initially have an X axis at the bottom of the graph and a Y axis on the left side. For most XY graphs, you can add a second Y axis on the right side. First, let's run a measurement with XY results to create the first graph. We're using the continuous sweep measurement to plot the response curve of an analog mixer, with the mixer's EQ set for bass boost and mid range dip. To add a second set of data, click the little chevron button on the right side of the graph and use the Define Axis menu to choose the data you'd like to plot from the measurement's results. We'll select Group Delay for the right axis. Once plotted, you can scale and position the left and right axis data independently. Often, it's useful to plot exactly the same data on both axes, but to scale them differently for a magnified view. Here's a key consideration. The y-axis data you choose for the second axis must be plotted against the same x-axis data. If the original graph plots level versus frequency, as we've used in the example here, you can't define a second axis that plots level versus time, such as an acquired waveform graph. Data that's not compatible won't even appear as a choice in the Define Axis menu. That's all for now. You'll find more information in the documentation provided with APX500. Look for additional quick tips at ap.com. And thanks for watching.